Here we have a beautiful Carlo Carletti from Pieve di Cento. This one was made in 1920. Carlo Carletti was born in 1873 and he worked for Raphael Fiorini. He subsequently worked with Augusto Palastri, Ettore Soffrini, and Leandro Biziak. His legacy was passed on to his sons, Natali, Nolo, and Orfeo. We've also seen some other nice examples of Carletti's sons come through the shop. Uh, one example I can recall is a very beautiful Natali instrument that came through. It had a beautifully flamed back, nice, nice handwork. His instruments were typically made in the Stradivari pattern, and also uh, he made a nice copy of Gennaro Galliano. This particular violin is made on the Stradivari pattern, which is his own personal model. You can just see the beautiful F holes, really, really clean corners, beautiful purfling, very symmetrical, very clean, really nice. This is a really beautiful instrument, both in terms of its handwork and also the varnish. This has a beautiful two-piece back with an opposing maple on the opposite side so that it looks like an ascending flame on the back of this instrument. This is quite a beautiful example of Carletti's handwork, uh, but also in terms of his varnish. Carlo's instruments were rarely labeled as his own work. This particular instrument has a label from Romeo Antonazzi from 1920, and it bears a beautiful golden brownish varnish. The tone of this Carletti is really a direct instrument. I would describe it as being a very clean and clear instrument. Um, it's very immediate, and especially when you strike with a bow, gives you just an immediate feedback and a big sound, big power. This Carlo Carletti is really a beautiful example of his work and such a wonderful addition to the Gatchel collection. <laughs> ¶¶ 